in this question we are given two circles circle 1 and circle 2 and both of them are having the radius 1 both of them are having the radius 1 that means these two circles are equal to each other and they are meeting at a point they are meeting at this point that i just uh, colored with red point and we are also given a square which is touching these two circles and this square is lying on the common tangent this line is a common tangent to these two circles and on this common tangent we have this square which is touching these two circles and what we need to find out in this question we need to find out the length of this square the side length of this square this question mark so i'm assuming the side length of this square be x i'm assuming it to be x that means we need to find the value of x in this question for that we, we need to draw few lines which will help us to solve this question let's do some construction firstly we will draw a radius from the center of this circle which will be meeting this common tangent okay so we will draw this radius and as we know the property of circle says that whenever we draw a radius from the center of the circle to the tangent the radius and the tangent will be perpendicular to each other yes so these two are perpendicular to each other similarly i will draw one more perpendicular line to this common tangent this line will be from this meeting point of these two circles so we will draw it like this now as we can see that this line will divide this figure into two equal parts as we can see according to symmetry this blue line will divide this whole figure into two equal parts yes so what does that mean this part can you see the part that i am coloring in red color this will be half of x this will become x by 2 yes this will also be x by 2 correct this will also be x by 2 because this blue line divided the figure into two equal parts correct now i will draw one more line that will help us to solve the question this line will originate from the center of the circle and meet the corner of this square yes now this line is nothing but the radius of this circle this blue line is also one yes apart from this i will draw one more line which will help us this line will also join the corner of the circle and will be parallel to the tangent given to us this line will be parallel to the common tangent so let's draw this line okay now as you can see there is a right triangle in this figure this is the right triangle yes this becomes a right triangle now let's mark the sides of this right triangle before that let's name this right triangle let this be o let this point be a let this point be b okay. as you know that this is radius of the square which is one now look at this part this part is nothing but the side of the square which is x if this whole thing is one this is x so what will be oa oa will be 1 minus x oa will be 1 minus x let me note down the length of oa at the top oa is 1 minus x we also know the length of ob so ob is 1 the radius of the circle we can also find the length of ab let's see how what will be the length of ab as you can see that this whole length is nothing but one this whole length is one correct because as we drew two blue lines in the beginning this becomes a square yes so this is one so this will also be one and what is this this part is a uh, half of the side length of square so this part is x by 2 if this part is x by 2 what will be the value of this part what will be the value of this part this will be 1 minus x by 2 correct so if this is 1 minus x by 2 definitely ab is also 1 minus x by 2 because this is like a small rectangle so so ab is 1 minus x upon 2 so what we can do now we can apply pythagoras theorem in triangle o a b yes in triangle o a b o a square plus ab square is equals to 
4b square. So what is OA? OA is 1 minus x whole square. AB is 1 minus x by 2 whole square. And OB is 1. Okay. So let's expand these two brackets using algebraic identities. So first bracket will give us 1 square plus x square minus 2x. Solving the expanding the second bracket will give us 1 square plus x by 2 whole square plus minus x is equals to 1 square. 1 square will be 1. Simplifying this, we will get 1 plus 5x square by 4 minus 3x is equals to 0. Simplifying this further, we will get 5x square minus 12x plus 4 equals to 0. Now, we got this quadratic equation. Now, what we should do? We should go for middle term splitting. If we do middle term splitting, we will get 5x square minus 10x minus 2x plus 4 is equals to 0. 5x common, we will get x minus 2. Minus 2 common, we will get x minus 2 is equals to 0. That means we will get 5x minus 2 into x minus 2 is equals to 0. That means we have two values of x. One is from the first bracket, we will get 2 by 5. And from the second bracket, we will get x as 2. Now, please look at the figure. The radius of the circle is 1. And we can see that square is very small as compared to the radius of the circle. So, do you think the side length of the square can be 2? Definitely not. This cannot be the answer. So, the answer is x is 2 by 5. The side length of this square is 2 by 5.